Hello there. Today, we're going to talk about the Kodak X200 portable SSD. This is a Kodak X200 portable SSD. It's very small, and if you compare it to a sauce packet, it's actually almost of the same size. And it's also very thin. Like all SSD in the market, the Kodak X200 is very light. To show you in comparison, I am going to use a weighing scale. This is the only weighing scale that's available at, at my house today, so we got to bear with it, guys. So, this is a Kodak X100, 1TB version, and it weighs around 40 grams. And if you compare it to my WD pass WD my passport one terabyte version it actually is almost around 150 grams so yeah this is very light out of the box you will get the SSD itself which is wrapped A cord which is a uh, type C 3.1 and uh, to a standard USB 3.0 manual in English and also in Chinese and a quality certification for testing we're gonna use my laptop which is a Dell Latitude E6230 which has uh, an SSD my laptop is actually running on a Samsung 860 EVO SSD which is quite fast So this is my desktop and I'm very sorry that it's very cluttered so let's just bear with it again and now I'm going to connect this SSD to my uh, USB 3 port of the laptop and we're now going to test this using the Crystal Mark 7 64 bit. Now I'm going to use the standard profile which is 5, 1 gigabyte and let's pick the SSD and yes and let's start. Okay guys, I think we already got our benchmark. Well, um, this is what I get with my laptop when I'm running it in my Windows 7. However, fret not. Um, I will also try this uh, SSD in, in my desktop. Because for some reason, um, when I'm running Windows on my laptop and I use this SSD, the, uh, the performance is actually very low so um, I'll show I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about all right guys now I had it hooked up into an optic optiplex uh, 710 uh, 7010 this CPU actually has uh, SSD on it which is from Corsair and now we're going to test the SS external SSD. Hmm. Yeah, this one. And we're using Diskmark uh, again with the same 
with the same parameters. Now let's start. Alright guys, now we have the full benchmark. As you can see, uh, it's different um, from my from the benchmark that we got from a laptop. Actually, the the speed of it, it differs in in devices. So uh, make sure you take note of that. And as we can see here, it's actually faster in the CPU. Now we'll test something that's. Uh, um since we'll test something here because this doesn't usually represent the real wor world usage so now let's just let's copy some files i'm going to copy a file here from the ssd to the desktop uh, to a folder in the cpu Here I'm going to copy uh, a folder with photos on it, which is around ten uh, around ten gigabytes with a lot of photos and videos. Now let's copy, paste. Here we can see that the speed is um, going up and down with the highest at around 200, 250 megabytes per second. Okay. That's how fast it is from copying to the SSD to the PC. And now let's copy a file from the PC to the SSD. I'm now going to copy a folder which is a 7 gigabyte folder that contains uh, videos and stuff. Now let's copy. Here we can see that it is actually faster uh, and it goes about 257 megabytes per second. This is actually good when you are transferring files from your PC to your SSD. And this is from is this is the performance that you will get if you will use um, a P if I use a PC. However, uh, performance differs uh, in devices, so uh, keep that in mind. Now let's let's test my laptop on Ubuntu. Now let's go back with the laptop. Um, Right now, I'm actually booted on my Ubuntu desktop, which is running Ubuntu 19.10. Let's now benchmark the SSD using the disk, disks application in Ubuntu. And right here, we can see the information over here. And then uh, now let's have a benchmark. Let's start again. Start benchmarking.
Okay, that was very fast. And right now we can as we can see no, the average read speed is at 437 megabytes per second. In real world usage, we are not going to get those. So how about if let's try to use it here? Hello guys. Now I'm going to copy a file from the SSD, which is a 10 gigabyte uh, pictures and videos to my desktop. Let's see how fast it can go. Right now we're around um, 283 megabytes per second, which is already fast for copying files. So that's about it for the real world usage of the read speed or oh, copying speed. Yeah. Now we're going to copy a file from my computer to the SSD. Uh, let's see. How about if let's get some photos of mine? Hmm. Those are good memories. I like those. I like that. I guess I'll pick this one, which contains quite a lot. Yeah, it is a 10 gigabyte uh, random files, uh, which is again some pictures and videos. Oops, 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 cancel. Let's do it again. Copy. Now we'll go we're going to paste on our SSD. Paste. Now we'll see how fast it will copy. So from the desktop to the SSD it actually goes around uh, 140 megabytes per second copy which is a bit concerning actually because for an SSD it's uh, it's slow Then again, maybe it's only just because it's in Ubuntu. <coughs> yeah. Now that's about it. All right, guys. Now that is for the Kodak Portable SSD X200 series. The Performance differs in devices. Sometimes it will be fast and sometimes it will be slow. And we won't also be getting the full write and read speeds of around 420 megabytes. So uh, that's also a bummer. However, um, we should take note that those are just for benchmarks and those don't usually reflect on the real world performance. It is worth noting that the Kodak Portable SSD X200 might just be uh, an MTech X200 uh, SSD, which was just rebranded. However, uh, it is also 
worth uh, noting that the style of the Kodak is better than the Amtec. And that's all I can say about this product. Now, if you guys have any questions, you can just comment and I'll try to reply as fast as I can. And I'm very sorry for the inconvenience that you've seen in this video, like uh, noises and stuff. And the slow speaking. Uh, if you guys like this video, just please click like and if you disliked it, just please dislike. Uh, anyway, um, I hope you have a good day and I hope this video helped you in purchasing an SSD for external use. So, see you again and I'll see you in the next video.